What do you add to the universe? Eh. What do you add to YouTube? What do you add to content creation? What do you contribute to art? Why should you, if you stick around, you'll learn a little bit of why you should add content or art to this dump fire called art or content creation or videos on YouTube. Just finished washing my face. Sorry about that. But yeah, I'm going to talk about three things. Three things that that sums up why you should add. Number one, you're unique. You're unique in the sense that only you has lived your life. There are multiple things of you that people relate to. You're not alone. But the combination of things that you've gone through and the people that you're going to meet, the people that you're going to create, bring life to, come across to, those people would appreciate you showing more of yourself or, you know, learning more about you. And also, you learn more about yourself. So that's all in one. The number one, because you're you. That's the number one reason. Nobody's going to do videos like you. Of course, there's going to be, uh, you know, cliches and stuff that you do. If you do like TikTok dances that everyone's doing, you know, it's trendy. Yeah, it's going to be, you know, it's not going to be actually you. But hey, you are the one who's dancing. So that's you showing your moves. There you go. Number two, you get to find out who you are. I think that's also like part of the second one. But through content creation, through art, through whatever you want to call it. If you're not doing this for views, you're doing it for yourself. And you get to see what you like. You get to really see, oh, I really like doing this. Let me expand upon that. You get to improve yourself. In my case, I'm just talking to a camera for 50-something days straight. What am I doing? Every day. I'm talking. I'm watching the video. Sometimes some of them are like too short to watch, but some of them I do watch completely, even if it's really long. And I say, what am I doing? Am I looking away? Am I moving my hands too much? Am I talking a load of shit at the start of the video, at the end of the video? Am I not being concise and precise and what the hell am I saying? Am I just doing nothing? Body language? You get to improve. Every time you do something, you get to improve. So do something. Create something. Why you should create? Because you get to do something and improve upon it. You get to learn yourself. Learn about yourself. So that's number two. Learning about yourself and improving yourself. All right, that's basically two and one. And number three, because you have a right to do it. You have a right to talk. You have a right to create. You have a right to express your ideas on the internet, in a canvas, in any media or form of art. You have a right to do it. Some people may say, or you may even tell yourself, you're me mediocre. Why should I? I don't even know how to do this properly. I don't know how to write. I don't know how to do this, this and that, and this and that. I'll give it a couple of years until I'm better. Bullshit. You become better by doing it. You become better by going out there and fucking doing it. Not by sitting alone and polishing, 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 and, you know, trying to make the best product piece of art. Nah. You get better by going on here, talking, doing, painting, editing, whatever the fuck you're doing. But by doing it, that's how you get better. And you have the right to be bad. You have the right to be not up to your ex own expectations. Just do the best you can and improve. And you have a right. You're Who am I to put this video next to videos like in the same platform as videos like either Mr. Beast or documentaries or, you know, other channels that talk better than I do, have better video ideas, better investigation, better research, have done this longer than I have, have a more interesting life than I do, talk better than I do, look better than I do, have a better fucking setup than I do. Who am I to do it? Well, that's the thing. I have a right to do it. And that comes looping back to the first. Number one, you're you. You're unique. 
Number one reason. Number two, you get to learn about yourself and about what you like and you get to improve. Number two. And number three, you have a right to do it. So everything loops back. You have a right to be you. You have a right to try and learn about yourself and improve. And you have a right to keep doing it and to show it, to put it in the same platform as anybody else. Go get them. Go get them. I'll see you tomorrow.